for a long time, you know, we went to places we never unpacked. My whole life was in that vehicle. Growing up um, in Tulsa, it was a lot of nights where I didn't know um, what I was going to eat or where I was going to be sleeping that night. I don't regret going through anything um, that I went through because it made me who I am. I remember it's a lot of nights where I used to go to sleep and I would wonder, like, do he ever sleep? Like, I never seen him sleep. Certain times, I was more fearful. It depends on where I chose to park. You know, living in our family vehicle, you know, I try to find a spot like this with a light, and we would back in, and we'll sit there and then be gone before day. I said, I never imagined we'll be in this place. And just to sit and look at my kids and watch them sleep. And I'm thinking like, okay, what do I do next? At first, Marty, he, you know, he, he proud. He, he was trying to fix it and do it himself. He, he, you know, he didn't let anybody know. He tried to make sure he kept everything normal. I would stay up, wash their stuff by hand while they sleep, making sure they check their homework. And then I'll go to bed around 12, 1, and get up by 5.36 so I could get them to their school. And it's just, that's how we lived for a while. Even when I was in the car, I felt like it was home. Like, it, was, it never really registered to me that we was, like, homeless or anything like that. Josh, I think he knew, but he blocked it out because he wants to be there for his dad. His dad was his main priority, and that's, and that's where their drive and determination came from. I mean, we're in that type of community where you know, we're, we struggle a lot. I don't think that he was gonna be one of those who come to the counselor and tell the counselor, I can't study today because I didn't have a place to sleep last night. It's hard telling the kid, hey man, it's gonna get better. And there's times I'm questioning like, okay, did I take a wrong turn? I don't know how to explain it. He was always like my superhero growing up. Um, kind of felt like he was invincible. I used to say to myself, okay, you're Jacobs. You know, let's do this. It was weird, the dream, I was in a stadium, all I could see was a blue sky, and I heard, touchdown, Joshua Cordell Jacobs. And I stood straight up, and I said, his name's gonna be Joshua Cordell Jacobs. That's good, that's said, It's a football name, ain't it? It's a good name. This is where it all began. Uh, it's third grade year, Josh played his first game here. I didn't think about football until, uh, Skip's the one that actually said, does he want to play football? At the time, I couldn't pay for nothing either. So he said, listen, man, just bring him out here. We'll work out everything else. I said, do you want to play football? He was like, yeah. Josh has had that good balance, that little wide base run where he's always, he was always on balance. Josh is just so natural with this. Like, I don't, I don't want to say he was born to do it, but I might be saying he was born to play football. To watch him play as a junior high school kid, you knew that he was special. He was always putting the extra work. Nobody else was doing that. The ultimate goal was to be somebody special, you know, to, and to elevate the community around us. Life is full of decisions. You know, you have choices to make. Every decision that you make could change your life forever. The draft was one of the coolest experiences I've ever imagined. But to see him play his first game, and he score, and he leaps over that dude, and I'm jumping up and everybody, and the whole side realized who I was and started you know, jumping on me. As soon as I got drafted, the first thing that came to my mind wasn't like, like it wasn't like a relief to me. It was more like, all right, now I gotta really work. I started reflecting that God put this kid on that platform and it was humbling to me. I got to see this manifest. I always tell myself if I if I give it everything I have and I and I fail or I don't reach the goal that I felt like I should have, then I'm I'm good with it. 
because I know at the end of the day I can't look back and say what if.